I have good good morning to everyone. This is Venkatesh. So from last video, we know about the anti resonance and parallel resonance of any type of circuit and then tank circuit. So there are here I am explaining a small problem. That is a for the tank circuit as shown be below. Find the resonant frequency. So here this is the tank circuit. So they are consisting of resistor, inductor, and capacitor. and the presence of values 10 ohms 0.1 henry and 10 microfarads and 10 volts so here i am simply comparing that it is a or it is l it is c capacitor so or value it is a respective inductor that's why i am writing or l equals to 10 ohms and l it is 0.1 henry and capacitor c equals to 10 microfarads that is i am writing here so the resonance frequency of the tank circuit is F four equals to one by two pi square root of one by L C minus R by L whole square. That is here, and substitute the above three values in this circuit. We are getting the solution. It is the frequency. This is the simple problem on tank circuit. Tank circuit, and also how to calculate the quality factor of any circuit. So quality factor is defined as simply the ratio of the resonance frequency to the bandwidth of the circuit so what is the bandwidth what is the resonant frequency so the resonance frequency is nothing but simply to calculate the frequency under resonance condition that is the imaged rate term is equals to 0 that is x equals to x and then the bandwidth is nothing but simply the difference between the two frequencies that is upper level cut off frequency and lower level cut off frequency that is upper half of the frequency and lower half of the frequency so here so you can simply take that omega r by omega 2 minus omega 1 omega r is nothing but resonant frequency omega 2 minus omega 1 is nothing but bandwidth of the frequency so that is the quality factor so how to calculate the quality factor of parallel resonance so consider a simple circuit that is or lc parallel circuit so here or lc are connected in parallel and there you can calculate the resonant frequency so how to calculate the resonant frequency you can simply take a uh, equal to the imaged rate term is equal to 0 so that's why you can take the impedance of the inductor as jxl and impedance of the capacitor the impedance of the inductor is jxl and the impedance of the capacitor is minus jxc so they can simply take that total impedance 1 by z equals to 1 by r plus 1 by jxl plus 1 by minus jxc that is right as like here 1 by jxl minus 1 by jxc so here 1 by r plus 1 by jxl means omega l and then minus j is going to be plus j into xc means 1 by omega c so here 1 by xc equals to so omega c so from this you can take 1 by r plus j into omega c minus 1 by omega l so for the resonance condition you can simply imagine it term is equal to 0 that is omega c minus 1 by omega l is equal to 0 this term is going to be 0 so that is so from this omega square equals to 1 by lc so omega 1 by square root of lc so the resonant frequency f4 equals to 1 by 2 by root lc h s so here i am take a simply one graph so here i am plot that two characteristics that is a voltage wave and the current wave so the voltage wave is going to be in the normal wave that is a, a forward direction there is a sign it's a positive sign so positive cycle so the current wave is going to be negative cycle so that is a quite opposite and then here so at resonant frequency f4 we are getting the maximum value of voltage and where we are getting the maximum that is a rms value 0.707 that is a effective value of voltage so there we are getting the two frequencies one is f2 another one is f1 so here f2 is nothing but high upper level cut off frequency and it is a f1 is nothing but lower level of cut off frequency so from the above graph to take the difference between the two frequencies that is a bandwidth so how to calculate the bandwidth of a parallel circuit so simply we know that so the omega 1 omega c minus 
so we know that omega c minus 1 by omega l so plus 1 by r so from the admittance so it is equals to y so y equals to 1 by r plus j omega c minus omega l so here it is equal to 0 that is a resonance condition if it is equals to minus 1 by r it is equals to minus 1 by r that is a lower cutoff frequency condition if it is equals to plus 1 by r that means the real part the real part that is it so for lower half power frequency i am taking this minus 1 by r minus 1 by r so here w1 c minus 1 by l omega l equals to minus 1 by r so omega 1 c minus omega 1 l plus 1 by r equals to 0 so if I take the LCM omega L R, so then equate to 0. So there I am getting the equation in the form of AX square plus BX plus C is equals to 0. So from this calculate the roots. So minus B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC by 2A. This is the roots calculation of above equation. So there I am calculate the root is a omega 1 in the first case so omega 1 equals to minus 1 by 2 rc plus or minus 1 by 2 rc whole square plus 1 by lc this is the first word similarly to obtain the upper half power frequency upper means 2 so you can simply take the 2 and it is the highest value that's why i'm taking as positive similarly here also i am taking bring the equation like this equation so so from this in analysis so there also we can get omega t equals to 1 by 2 rc plus or minus square root of 1 by 2 rc plus square plus 1 by lc so there you can simply bandwidth so bandwidth w omega 2 minus omega 1 equals to so this minus this what happened this is minus this means these two parts square root 2 star parts are going to be cancelized and then 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 that is going to be 1 1 by rc so therefore quality factor equals to omega r by omega 2 minus omega 1 that is the resonance frequency by bandwidth that is 1 by rc that is omega or rc so this is the simply quality factor calculation for any circuit so similarly so one more method to calculate the quality factor so that is the simply the definition of quality factor equals to 2 pi into maximum energy stored in the circuit by energy dissipated per cycle so that is in the case if you can consider inductor so if inductor stored energy is half l i square and how much energy is displayed i square r i square r into t so here i square r t so here we can take the maximum maximum current that is a uh, i max equals to i r m s by root 2 so in our waves so i r m s by 2 that is effect 2 value by root 2 times so that's why I am taking in terms of I RMS. This is I RMS. So this is also I RMS square by root 2 into R into T. I square R T. This is the energy calculation. Energy equals to e energy W equals to V into I into time T. That is I square R T. I square R T for energy calculation. So therefore, in the equation, I am simply substitute the above terms. 2 pi into of l i square so here i am calculate the inductor so that means in the inductor impedance z equals to j xl that is nothing but j omega l so so the current i equals to v by j that is v by j xl that means v by omega l so that's why you can take that so i equals to v by xl term so for the calculation of inductor so that's why i'm taking v by omega l whole square in place of i square and similarly here also i can take i square is there so r into 1 by f so the both same i am substituted here and then cancel is the term so finally i'm getting 2 pi f l r by omega l whole square so this is 2 pi f is nothing but omega that is omega l into r by omega l whole square that is r by omega l so this is the quality factor calculation for in the another way and similarly you can take the capacitor there also you can calculate similar way that is a half cv square is the energy and that energy is v square by r t v square by r v square means v by root 2 whole square into by r into t 
so substituted here i am getting again like this and omega also it is also called to factor in the capacitor and what is the variation of impedances with frequency so in the frequency changes what is the variation of impedances so here we can take so a simple wave which is a voltage wave or any current wave there we get uh, the XL greater than XC and XC is greater than XL. That means if any type of impedance Z equals to in the circuit or plus J XL minus XC. So in this XL minus XC. So in this equation if XC is equals to 0 then what happened we get R plus J XL. If XL equals to 0 R minus jx that means from this r plus jxl or minus jxc like this term if xl equals to xc if xl equals to xc so we are getting the resonance condition at that time we are getting that if xl equals to xc we get z equals to only r that means what the maximum value so that's why under the resonance condition we are getting the maximum resistance if we can change the frequency levels so the xl if the frequency is going to be low xl equals to 2 pi fl that means it is proportional to the f so f is going to be decreases what happened xl decreases if x is inversely proportional to the f x is going to be increases similarly the frequency increases xl is going to be 2 pi fl it is going to be increases so 1 by 2 pi fc is going to be decreases so due to these cases if increasing of frequency the total the total impedance is going to be increases if decreasing of frequency the total impedance is going to be decreases so and then next one is current in anti resonance so current in anti resonance is nothing but current in parallel circuits so the current is nothing but magnification the current magnification occur in a parallel resonance circuit so that is anti-resonance circuit the voltage applied to the parallel circuit that is v equals to i r so that is the inductor i equals to v by xl so that means what i equals to v by omega l so v equals to i into r by omega l so r by resonance this term is going to be what quality factor that is current into quality factor similarly in the capacitor i c equals to v by 1 by omega c that is what v by r that is i equals to v by r in the inductor r equals to xl in the capacitor inductor or there is nothing but impedance z equals to xl capacitor z equals to 1 by xc that is nothing but xc xc is nothing but 1 by omega c xl is nothing but omega l so therefore so here you can simply current i equals to v by so i l equals to v by z l so v by z l means omega l so omega means r so v equals to i into r by omega r l so here this is nothing but q similarly you can take xc also v by 1 by omega c that is i r into omega c into omega r c is nothing but quality factor so this is the parallel resonance of the circuit so how to calculate the parallel resonance of any type of circuit in the tank circuit or normal parallel connection of circuit and how to evaluate the quality factor of the parallel resonance and how to calculate the bandwidth what is the bandwidth and what is the difference between the bandwidth and quality factor okay thank you thank you to all